Hello and welcome to a new Lua tutorial. Um, today what I want to uh, show you is how to make auto scroll with Luna Lua. Now uh, what you might be thinking is why do I need Luna Lua to make an auto scroll? As I mentioned in uh, one of the previous episodes, uh, the auto scroll section feature here is actually very uh, rudimentary and only works in a auto start event. Um, one problem that immediately arises with this method is that uh, there is a bug in Smevex where uh, auto start events aren't run when restart last double on death is active. Which is fun because that means all your auto start events aren't running. So I'm gonna get rid of this event. I'm gonna show you real quick how the same thing can be accomplished um, with Lua real quick. So what we first want to do... <coughs> Hmm. Is so we want to uh, load the auto scroll API, uh, library, and then what we can do is we can go into function on start, because it's like our auto start event. But instead of an auto start event, it's on start, which also runs in that uh, buggy scenario I outlined a second ago. And then we say auto scroll dot scroll right, and then we input our speed, and it's the same thing. <coughs> Now, uh, this is of course a very, very standard auto scroll, and um, there's actually one quirk to it which I want to sh swiftly display. Uh, one thing is that in Smabex there is some additional code in addition to auto scroll, which makes it so that the screen kind of crushes the player on the sides. This is not part of the main auto scroll routine but rather something on top, and it's not something autoscroll.lua takes care of natively. But it's very easy to implement for yourself. Uh, it just takes like a simple uh, if statement, where um, you want to just check whether or not the player is getting crushed. If uh, player mem player kill. This basically checks that uh, the player is uh, getting crushed from both sides at the same time, you'll get something like that. If player dot death timer is greater than zero, then return end. So that our player is only killed once. Sorry for the noise. <clears throat> but yeah. Now the player also gets crushed when uh, running into that. So. Uh, very simple setup. This works for uh, all other types of autoscore as well. Just kill the player when he's crushed. Uh, and yeah, you can actually enhance the autoscroll uh, in several different ways. For example, um, of course one thing you uh, might have already noticed is that this says scroll right, so of course we can also specify scroll up. Alright. Now I can specify scroll up to make the camera scroll up. And uh, uh, as you will notice, of course, these are just the four directions. And uh, you might be thinking, how do we do diagonal scrolling? Um, diagonal scrolling is handled a little bit differently in autoscroll.lua. Uh, instead of specifying um, two directions, you specify in to what target you want to go uh, at and at what speed you want to go. So, uh, for example, this I'm going to use this block as a reference. In this block, uh, I'm going to take its position x and y. This is going to be the lower left corner of the target. <coughs> and I'm going to use scroll 2 and insert those values here. And then make it a speed of 1 again. So start moving and now it starts moving towards that box, that lower left corner we specified. Of course I'm gonna die down here because I'm so far low, below the stage now, but it continues scrolling until it hits uh, the border. Right. One thing that's uh, neat about autoscroll.lua is that uh, if I were to make a pipe that leads from this section into this section, Right, there we go. Now the result is not quite what we expected uh, for, of course, the reason that we started this on start. So 
if you want to start an auto scroll in a section where uh, the player doesn't start, uh, it might be good to use the onload section functions. There is one of these for each section. So onload section 0 will work for section 0, uh, onload section 1 for section 1, and then of course uh, it starts behaving like usual again. <coughs> And uh, as you will see in a second, the lower left corner is going to be right there. In the top left corner of the block I'm standing on. One more thing I want to uh, quickly discuss in this uh, auto scroll segment is the concept of switching auto scroll in the middle of a uh, section. So, um, of course, uh, one thing we want to uh, take care of first is we want to keep track of which transitions we've already been through. So, local. Um, auto scroll state is uh, zero. We're starting at zero. There is no, hasn't been any auto scroll movement yet, so um, we um, aren't really checking for anything yet. I want to uh, set auto scroll state to one in here to uh, basically say the program that we have started auto scrolling, and then I'm gonna check here if auto scroll state is one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, check if the camera is uh, above a certain position. In fact, I'm going to take this Y coordinate. If auto scroll state is 1 and cam.y is less than or equal that. Now I'm going to get the camera. It's the first camera of the first player. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into auto scroll state 2 and say auto scroll let's scroll right at speed 1. So now if we enter the section it's gonna move up and then to the right. And of course we can uh, enhance this even further else if speed 4 so that makes it really fast. So we enter the section, the auto scroll starts moving up, and then we start going to the right. And uh, as soon as we hit like the right edge of the boat, we we'll start going down really fast to uh, the section boundary, and then uh, we are on this screen. So <clears throat> that's uh, all the useful stuff in the auto scroll library. And I hope you learned something today, and I'll see you next time.